All right, so this is Al, and uh, I am here with an update on the turbines. As you can see, we did modify the tower one last time, and uh, we decided to put them both upright, but to put a 10-foot pole on the other one, so now they're nice away from each other, and the top most, uh, the highest turbine is uh, 60 feet off the ground, and the other one is about 52, 53 feet or so. And then the other change we made was with the guy wires, uh, much further out, 70% of the of the height of the tower, which gives it very good stability. Doesn't move at all, so this is great. We have right now about a eight mile an hour wind or so, not all that strong. And uh, you'll see that I made a couple of changes to to the board. Uh, there are the two. A great time inverter is working right now, as you can see. Uh, there's a 300 watt and a 250 on the bottom. They're both actively going. Uh, you can see that I split it. Uh, so now I have a 50 amp uh, meter, amp meter to turbine one and 50 amp meter to turbine two. And they're right now running about 10 amps in that 8 mile an hour, 8 to 10 mile an hour wind. Um, so that's uh, 10 amps each at 24 volts, that's about 240 volts per, so that's a half a kilowatt that I'm getting in less than 10, 10 miles an hour. Uh, the voltage right now, as you can see, it's probably low, it's, well there you go, so it goes up to 26, now we must have got a gust. And then here's room for the third turbine that's going to go up that's a uh, PMA that I got uh, out of uh, Missouri Wind and, uh, and Solar uh, from Jeff Molly and that's the uh, bridge rectifier that I have for it. Uh, everything has got its own breakers uh, so there's 50 amp breakers and each one of those, I'm sorry, 40 amp breakers in each one of those and I'm gonna have some solar come up here as well uh, for the batteries that you can kind of see up here and that's gonna have its own amp meter. So. Uh, that's the update for now and I will give you another update with the other project soon.